morning guys so I have traversed the country over to Pittsburgh and we're here this morning on campus at the Pittsburgh Institute of Mortuary Science we're gonna chat with some students chat with some faculty and do a tour of the college so let's go Going to, uh, I should look at a resume. <laughs> you know, it's it was in the 80s. Okay, so a long yeah. time. This is yeah, a long time. Yeah, very long time. We were in a another location uh, when I started here in 1977. Okay. And uh, it was actually in the university area. Okay. Right down the street. And the uh, interesting thing, kind of a diversion. Uh, whenever we sold it, we moved here in 1989, so we're almost here 18 or 20 years, 20 or 30 years. Um, but we had a class that graduated, um, I don't know, maybe it's five years or so. They were still tearing down the building because they re redid the whole property and uh, took another property with it and built this big property that has... Uh, offices and high-end uh, apartments and whatever it was in demolition stage the group of students went to the demo site and said can we have some of those bricks oh so this is we didn't know this so they collected all these bricks during the course of this before they graduated graduation we're at the church cap and gown ceremony and the president says we have gifts for you during the ceremony and they walk up with this boxes of bricks and they put uh name plates look on the third shelf oh, wow. right hand side that's cool and they put little name plates on it with the address i think is 3337 forbes avenue and they brought enough so that i could distribute them to the faculty. And the That's staff. really cool. It is very cool. I We started putting the whole program together. Uh, this would have been probably in June of the previous year. Okay. And then uh, we have had a goal to roll it out the first of January and we did. Okay. Yeah. Of course there were courses that were still being built as we were going through the first two years because it's a two-year model okay yeah so it's longer yeah what we do here in one year we do two years okay we actually kind of carved it in half looking at the target was a student that is working full-time or uh, gainfully employed somewhere else you know looking for a second career and we hit the bullseye that's I mean really literally great. we hit the bullseye and we still, that's our model today. Um, I, we have a great facility. The facility is bar none. Uh, the best, I think. And we still have growth room. We still have the whole fifth floor that we can use for something. Okay. And whenever we moved here, we just built out the first two floors, which were class. This was a prep room. Okay. You can see the GFIs. Yep. There's one there, the table came out here, this one right here around the corner, this came out here, and this room, whenever we were building this, I built it as a, an isolation room, because huh. back in that era, AIDS had just been discovered. So we had a, we had a viewing window here. Okay. Students were not allowed in the prep area. I mean, there was all of an unknown. So, but we did accept 
the age cases for for the typical funeral homes that we were doing work for. Okay. And uh, so they could watch, but they mm -hmm. weren't allowed inside. And uh, <coughs> whenever we moved, uh, this was 1989 when we moved in here, and this was a prep. There were folding partitions there because we had a lab next door, which is the restored of our lab. But uh, we could open it up. And <coughs> whenever we, when it came opportune, we bought a property next door, which is where our uh, parking lot is. Okay. There's a little building over yeah, there. Yeah, what is that little building? That's our prep center. Yeah, wow. our students, we now have the uh, threshold of the 30 cases. Nice. Probably 95% of them are going to be at funeral. Uh, we have most of our faculty are outside of here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have a guy that comes in and teaches. Uh, you met him, Pat mm -hmm. McGowan. Perfect. He has a funeral home. Nice. He just teaches two courses here. Okay. Uh, we have a lawyer that teaches the law courses, funeral law and business law. Uh, we have a uh, we have a gal that teaches a business math course. So that's what she does. She's our librarian. Okay. But she teaches uh, one course. So really, most of the courses are taught by part-timers that have uh, that are coming from outside. From doing we have their a vocation. Core, yeah, we have a core couple of people here okay. that kind of fill in the rest. Okay. Uh, and even them, like Barry, still he still in homes occasionally for a funeral home. They get stuck and. So yeah, they have some field experience. Yes, okay. part of uh, the facility was built on th the third floor for having an actual library or human remains okay. that we could do. We have the we have the uh, uh, camera in the ceiling with zoom capabilities. Yes. Yeah. We have a water control unit. We have a drain in the floor, and it's right in the auditorium, so that. Uh, we can do so one of the goals that I had whenever we were building it up was we need to have this just in case. You know, the marginal cost of putting a water control unit at a drain in the floor mm -hmm. uh, for the benefit that we would gain if we needed it, uh, there was a big difference, yeah. you know. So uh, we did it, and uh, we've used it. I think just the, uh, the national footprint that we enjoy, which we didn't have, nor do any mortuary schools have. Um, over the years, everyone was regional because students just went to a place that was fairly convenient for them. Yeah. So because we've established the online program, it has become a national brand. And that probably is the best thing I would like to be associated with. The reputation that is national. When you say PIMS, no, there is no dispute as to who PIMS is. Yeah. And that's pretty good. I'm Pat McGowan. I'm the uh, funeral management instructor here at the Pittsburgh Institute of Mortuary Science, and uh, this is our selection room. The selection room is this selection room is new. Uh, Matthews Aurora helped us put this room in to help the students uh, in the funeral management courses. So in this course, um, in the funeral management course, we cover arrangements, we cover funeral forms, uh, and we also cover funeral merchandise. So. This room we can utilize uh, for the arrangement conference. We have an arrangement table here. We have uh, different merchandise options, so, family, uh, so students can get used to presenting funeral merchandise to families during the arrangement conference. We have cremation merchandise uh, also here, along with cremation caskets. So the room is quite useful. It's quite versatile to us. Um, 
in addition to, as I said before, in addition to the funeral merchandise we have, uh, the arrangement conference table allows students to sit in groups and teams and kind of do mock arrangements. Uh, they can facilitate passing out forms to different fam uh, to the family members, going over a general price list, uh, covering funeral costs. Uh, we have sundry items. We have registered book acknowledgement cards here, so the room is quite quite useful. I'm really proud to be at PAMS. I've recently become the program director, but I've been affiliated with the school since being a graduate in 1985. And um, PAMS is really one of those places that uh, I knew I was going to be at someday, and I am just proud to walk in this place every day because I know that what we do is help young people, as, as well as all the other schools, fulfill their dreams to help people in need. And I've often heard Dr. Wolfelt say, uh, brave people are, are people that have special needs, and it takes special people take care of people with special needs and uh, it's really proud we can empower our young folks to do that. lab or the prep room lab here at PIMS. So I think what's really cool and unique here is they have, you know, thoughtfully they have chosen four different embalming machines so that the students get to practice on different types of equipment. They have four different types of tables that they can practice raising them, lowering them, how does the equipment or like even the suction cups that hold the water hose, how do they attach to the table? So they get to practice with all different types of instruments, all different types of machines and I think it's so critical that they get to do that because you never know what is going to be in the facility that you end up working at. My name is Michael Burns. I'm one of the licensed directors here at PIMS, also a full-time faculty member. Uh, I'm in the lab today with several students. We are going to be embalming a body very shortly. We're very proud of our facility here. We get almost 600 bodies a year. Uh, we do require each student online or on campus uh, performs at least 30 embalmings before they graduate. So they get a lot of opportunity to get a lot of experience. Hey guys, so this is Dan, and you may see him or talk to him because he runs kind of all the recruitment. So as you're looking for schools, you may talk to Dan. Dan, what do you want to tell students as they're looking or maybe a question that they should ask when they're looking for schools? So a lot of what we deal with um, is trying to work with the student to identify their state requirements, um, their previous education, whether they're looking for on campus or online study. Um, and as we have those discussions, we can really identify what program is best for them um, and sort of eliminate you know, a lot of the question about um, what's going to serve them best for time, money, things like that. Um, so I always suggest that if they're thinking about it, give me a shout and we'll have a discussion and, and get their questions answered for them. Awesome. So, yep. Thank you. Great. We're in term four, which means that we're earning our associates in specialized business. We've already gone through the core program, so we already graduated with our diploma in funeral directing and embalming. So we're on the home stretch. We're just about done. Cool. Mm -mm. No. No. What has been the pro about doing in seat classes? Just, I, go ahead. I think that um, the in seat classes are a little bit easier than the online, personally, just because here you can walk right up to your professor if you need help with something, whereas online you have to communicate through email or something some other form of communication rather than just walking up and if you have a question communicating that way okay you know I think that getting into mortuary school you just think oh I'm gonna learn how to embalm I'm gonna learn you know some sciences but it's not gonna be hard it is very hard it's a lot of dedication it's a lot of time-consuming things I mean outside of school school is your life so before going to, P P to PIMS, be prepared to give up a lot, to, to gain a lot, but it's a lot of work.
especially with pins is one of like the best things that it has is the fact that we have to do so many cases we have to do all these different things when we're in there like raising vessels and uh, stuff like that which really adds to you know the experience um, other schools what uh, someone that I talked to only had to do five bodies which not saying that they're getting a less of an education but they are getting less of an experience in that part which is something that you're really going to deal with and I think that um, we've been fortunate for that level of exposure. The hard work that you put in during the core program, it pays off so much. I mean, it hurts. Like, I think one of Dr. Joe's famous quotes is, make it hurt now because it will pay off in the end, and it's so true. The it's favorite thing about PIMS is the diversity that we have here. We have different ages. We have uh, the genders, of course, male and females, and we have um, all walks of life. And that was uh, one of the big things that uh, I enjoy about PIMS because you get to see and understand different walks of life of where people came from, how people have came into this business, as well as myself. I love that the class sizes are so small and they only take so many people so that you can really get to know the teachers and it's a very personal connection with all of them. So you're able, like, I'm so comfortable going to any one of them. They all know everybody by name. And so it just makes it really intimate and you don't have to, you know, feel embarrassed to go to them and ask questions. I chose PIMS because um, I had read wonderful things. I heard they're one of the best. Um, I knew it was a trade school going in, so a smaller, kind of shorter program sounded perfect to me. Um, knowing that I would have to move and kind of get settled into a new area. Um, taking a shorter program to me just was the best option and just learning as much as I can in such a short period of time. Um, I like that all of the classes are kind of tailored towards the funeral industry um, instead of just being like regular anatomy. We learn anatomy like how we're going to actually be applying it to the field and that's kind of something that's special and different than other colleges. It's one of the best schools for mortuary science so it's, that was my my choice and very quick to graduate. One word to describe PIMS. A bowling. From out eye. Friends. <laughs> Demanding. <laughs> Two uh, words, no sleep. Uh, that's it. Hard. I don't know. <laughs> Rewarding. Tests. There you go. That's, that's a good one. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, nice. So we're just finishing our tour of PIMS here and we've got a team still going in the lab so I'm kind of hanging out while they're finishing up doing the prep there and it's really fun to get to see students learning and try new techniques and discovering more about the business that they love. So thanks for joining me here at PIMS. If you have questions about this school, want to know more about it, watch at the end of the video and down at the uh, comments in the um, information below the video and you will see all the contact information you need to talk to the staff in the recruiting office or if you want to know more about the financial side of it or anything just contact them they're super fun staff here i was so excited to get to be here and to share with the students and learn from them and get to know more about pims thanks guys bye